go over to shapes click shapes click anywhere in the white area the drawing section and make sure you're on rel so if it's not on rel just click up here where it says rel type in your coordinates or your measurements three five press tab 235 again then enter so this has given me my rectangle which i need for the outside of the number plate uh, once you've got the the square not the rectangle once you have your square or your rectangle i suppose um, you'll come up here you'll scroll across right to the end where it says draw a filleted arc between two lines the default is 10 millimeters leave it at 10. click on two adjacent sides like this and it rounds the corner from 90 degrees to a 10 millimeter radius after doing that scroll over to contour and change that to five the default is five but because i've been using this already today i had changed it to three previously so click on the inside of your line and then i'm going to change this contour back to three um press ok and again the finger of the cursor here has to be on the inside of your previous line um, to do that second contour so i'm using black sticky vinyl and i'm using the gray aluminium so i'm going to have black here gray black and then all the letters and numbers will be gray i'm going to do the letters next so i'll select settings scroll to copper plate and change the height from the default setting to 74. i'm now going to type the first three digits of the number plate which is gbc place those here and reduce the width to roughly that sort of size if it, if it doesn't look right i'll change it later but whilst i've set the top letters i'm going to just copy and paste those letters go to property and change those letters to 719n which is the um i just double check those just to make sure i've definitely got those right 71n so they are the uh, the final letters of the number plate press ok centralize the this group while it's still highlighted let's move it over left a little bit more have a look see what it looks like make sure it's all in proportion I think that the GBC needs to go over to the left a little bit and down. Make sure it's your white spacing in between the letters um, looks right. And then I'm going to do one last little thing is I'm going to write series three. Change the size. shrink it right down place it in the middle make it a bit smaller series three right there move it over to the left a little bit so it's central uh, and then have a look see what it see what you think make sure it, everything all the the uh the groups look evenly balanced um, and then highlight all go to fill no fill apply okay and that is ready to laser cut. So I'm going to save that into my uh, onto my hard drive. But I'm also going to export the file. So I'll go to File and Export, and then I'm going to change. Um, well, first of all, I think I'll just save that just in case it doesn't work properly. Um, I'm going to save as save it as Reg Rear to Design File. And then I will export this file onto my pen drive. So I'll export it as um, rear reg. Export. Make sure it says DXF file. Go to save. Right. So that is now ready and it's saving onto my pen drive. I can take over to the um, laser cutter now.
So it's really important to keep the surface of the aluminium wet and potentially, if there is some about, put some soap on there as well. It will all come out later on. Just enables you to be able to move the, the sticky vinyl around before it's too late, before it sets. So when you don't have a squeegee to hand, just use a bunch of tissue, blue roll on this occasion. Make sure you've got your sticky vinyl ready. And as soon as I peel off the backing, I'm going to put water and a, a spray bit of soap on there as well, all over the, the, the reverse side to um, reduce the stickiness. So I'll just start peeling this back now. Right, here we go. Before we get any dust on there, because obviously it's quite sticky, it's going to, it's going to attract any dust that's floating around. I'm going to put the tap on, make sure to give it a good soaking. The occasion it is nice and slippy, so I can, as soon as I place this onto the aluminium now, just move the camera. Although I've placed it down onto the aluminium, I can still move it around, I can still slide it or even take it all off completely. If I, hadn't, if I hadn't have added the soap, this would be impossible to do. You, you'd just end up stretching the PVC and making the right mess of it. Get as many bubbles out as you can now. It's not really too important. And run your finger across the center, left to right and up and down to give you just four corners then, four quadrants to get the air bubbles out. Good opportunity now is to get your tissue and start from the middle, from the centre working your way out towards the edges this will get rid of any bubbles turn off that tap this will get rid of any of the bubbles that you had left like so so I would leave this just to set now for probably an hour before laser cutting the letters. Um, I've just noticed over here, I don't know if you can see this in the camera, there's a, there's a bit of a bump there. That means there's something in there, so peel it back. Gone. Get rid of that. Okay, so I'll just leave this for an hour or so now. Get as much of the soap out of it as possible. And then we'll put, put it on the laser cutter. Right, next step is the brake press, the guillotine. Um, simple function. Cuts the metal sheets. All you have to do is step on this lever mechanism at the bottom here. So we just feed through the metal. We're using aluminium, as we know. And then you can see the little guillotine blade at the bottom of where my finger is. That goes down. You can line it up with where you want cutting. There is a straight edge here that you can put 
one straight side of your sheet up against and then you know it's going to it's going to be square so I'll just line up line up this side first of all make sure the blade is parallel with the black the black strip the black border and then pop the Now we have a definite straight edge that we can put against that edge, uh, the straight edge. And again, push the plate forward towards the blade. Get it lined up, make sure it's the right distance. And again. And the final stage is to round off the corners. So we're going to use the belt sander or the band face sander, which is this machine here. stage after using the belt sander is to just use a little sanding block just to take off the burr that the sander had, um, has left so we'll just get rid of those like so go around the corner as well like that just a couple of times nice and smooth and there you have it so it's ready now to go onto the onto the Land Rover and now all I have to do is finish the Land Rover.